Yes, the title of this video is correct. The previous unit owner paid over $20,000 to keep this storage unit, and we got it for only $800. My name's Thomas, and I'm an online reseller. Every week, I search all over for some real bargains. I find all sorts of cool stuff. So follow me on my journey and hit that subscribe button. Story time on the unit before we jump into this video. One thing we've learned from doing storage units is that sometimes you can call the facilities and if you're nice, they'll tell you a little bit about the storage unit. Turns out they knew the storage unit had been there for over 10 years. They'd been paying over 200 bucks a month for 10 years. Whatever's in that storage unit was worth over $20,000 to them. So we get to find out just what they were hiding inside this unit. But before we jump into the video, I wanna show you exactly what we paid and go over what made us buy the unit in the first place. We actually won the storage unit for $460, but we rented it for a month, which cost 240 plus the additional fees with that and the 10% that went to the website. It put us around $800 for the unit. Now let's get into those pictures and show you just what we seen to make us buy this unit. Starting off, we have some nice furniture, a nice chair. We come over here. There's a nice wicker chair and then a sleigh bed frame. So there's already four, 450 right there in furniture. And it's nicer furniture. Then we come over here and we can see that they took good care of their collectible items. They've got totes up here and it looks clean. That usually means that they care about what they're storing. So it's another good sign for us. And that right there was enough for us to call the storage unit and that's where we got today. That being said, let's jump right into the unit and see just what we get. Hope you enjoy. Okay, we are in unit 444. Mm -hmm. Is that a lucky number? I guess so. Oh, look at that. Ooh. Wait, that is a lucky number. Yeah? It's an angel number. Ooh. It means something. You mean something well. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Got this. Got okay. this. I want to record it open. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Just keep swimming. Mm. Wow. Does it have a light? Straight ahead. That's the only light? I guess. Oh wow. Ooh. It's we got some dim. stuff to go through. Dim? Mm hmm You wish you'd think it'd be more lit. But you know what? This chair right here? Yep. Well, I'm gonna sit and supervise. Oh, really? Yeah, I'm gonna go like this. Ah! Hey, Lily, what are you doing over there? Wait, wait, she's already digging. Oh, you see shoes? Yeah. You like shoes. I don't know if that's a good brand or not. I don't know. They feel kind of cheap. Oh, it's a whole thing of shoes. Yes. Oh, my goodness. Isaac, neutralize. Coach. Coach. Oh, coach shoes. Is there shoes in there? What? <gasps> Made in Italy. Yes. Oh, it's Isaac though, it's not Coach. Yeah, it's different, but it looks like a fancy brand. Yeah. They probably have a mix in between. Yeah. Banana good. Is it? It's a suit. It's... Ooh. Nice suit. A Banana Republic suit. Versace. Is that good? Yeah, it is. Versace Rosenthal Crystal. Oh, nice. They make plastic? Yeah. It's not plastic, it's crystal. Yeah, it's crystal. And I don't feel any chips on it. Wow. I wasn't expecting to see this. Because it was all cheap stuff. Like yeah, and then next thing you know, it's just Versace Crystal. Oh, yeah. Japanese candy. Yeah, candy. Coffee chocolate. Ziplocs. Oh, dude. Yes. You found a case of zippies. Oh, nice. Yes, look at that. Cha ching. Cha ching. That's a big money right there. Yeah. One of the rules of thumb is you don't put food in a freaking locker, it draws rats. These hand drives. Oh wow. 
These are probably worth something. There's two of them. Kenneth Cole watch. Ooh. What is it? Kenneth Cole watch. That could be something. This needs to be dumped out. Singapore. That's cool. What is it? You got coins. Coins good to me. Yep. That's a dollar. Mm -hmm. That's a dollar. That's a dollar. That's a quarter. Just break on you. <laughs> <laughs> it was very comfortable too. Yeah. That's funny. Ah, was it rats? Was it? Yeah. Where did it? Did it come out? Oh. Of the box? Oh, what? Oh, you just had. It just came out of the box. That's sad. Oh, he's gone. <laughs> He's trying to go back in the unit. Oh no! How many are in there? Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Is there more? Scared. We're gonna have to be careful opening the boxes. <laughs> There's food in here. That's why. He got separated from his mate. Yeah. Scary. Mm. Are you so happy to go through the unit? Yeah. As long yeah. as they don't jump on me. It was supposed to be a husband that passed away and they put the husband's stuff in the locker. But uh, mm -hmm. we haven't seen any of the husband's stuff. A little art glass uh, pig. That's kind of cute. <laughs> there we go. This is stuff I could sell. This looks cool. <laughs> This looks like Vietri Murano. Made in Italy, yep. Yeah. This is like 40, 50 bucks right here. Nice. Yep. Uh, and then there's another one. That's Murano. Uh, it's art glass. Murano. It's Italian, but I don't think it's Murano. It's so nice though. This is really nice. I don't know what this one is. 40 or 50 bucks. Ooh, one more thing. A rooster. <laughs> awesome. Chinese Made in one. China. Ooh. Ooh, it's a yeah. rosary. Oh, nice. A broken rosary. Oh. Uh, that sucks. Yeah. Does it look like silver? Sterling. Really? Yeah, see, it's totally. Oh, wait, it's probably still... Wait, you might be able to repair it. Yeah. Oh, sweet. You could just, if you have little jewelry pliers, or I could bring you some. Yeah. I got, I got, jewelry? Jewelry? I got jewelry pliers. Yeah, it's sterling. Oh, nice. nice. Sterling rosary. Look at that. Oh, oh wow. Beautiful. Where was that at? That's... There's more. How much There's do you think more. this would work? There's more? Ooh. <laughs> Chain extension? Oh. Is this the missing part? This yeah. must be the missing part. Okay. Look at that. So it's probably even more valuable because it's bigger. Yeah. What do you think? Three hundred. How 300? much is worth? No. <laughs> probably like. Eighty. Yeah. Quarter. Hmm, basketball. Ooh, a signed basketball. It's in a bag. Oh wow. I think it had a whole a whole team sign it. Maybe. That's cool, that could be good. And then it's this. Kind of cool bag. That should be good. Yeah. I think we found the box for that earlier, didn't we? Yeah, I think we did. Now we're back from the storage unit and it's time to go over the profits. We're gonna start off by going over the clothes. Now, if you know anything about storage units, usually the clothes is not where you make your money. Usually 90% of the clothes is either donation or not even worth donating, but this one was an exception. They bought some really nice clothes and they kept it in good condition. So let's jump in and see just how much we're gonna make off the clothes. We got five totes here. Now, all these five totes are all clothes that are worth selling, which is crazy. Normally we only get one or two totes worth of clothes worth selling, but we've got some really good stuff. So let's start. 
Just nice wool jacket. And if we look over here, Ralph Lauren. Boom. Look at that. Quality name. Quality piece. Expensive. Really good resale piece in very good condition. And just most of this tote is around that same kind of line. Banana Republic. A little bit cheaper, but still 20 30 bucks for that piece. Because Victor... No, not Victoria. So polo jeans. Another polo jacket. I think this one's vintage too. Vintage polo jacket. Look at that. We got 15 to 20 on some of most of these jeans here. Nice jeans. Club Monaco, 20. Some really good stuff. All these 15, 20 dollar ticket items. 20, 20, 20. Um, I think there's more polo in here somewhere. I can't find it on that one. But yeah, some really good stuff. And most of these totes are, are pretty much along the same exact line. So let's jump down to the one under. And, uh, and look at it. Right here we have a a nice a soft leather jacket, and if we look right here, Polo Ralph Lauren. This is nice, and it's in pretty decent shape. I wasn't able to find any rips or anything, but it's all it's in pretty good shape. It's got some really nice stuff. Here we have a Victoria's Secret. I think it's like a some kind of a robe. But nice brand, quality piece, and good condition. Nice. And there's a few more Victoria's Secret things in here. Tommy Hilfiger. Look right here we have Victoria's Secret bra. It's still in the original packaging. Just so much money in these totes. Let's go on to the next one. We've got... Now these are some... Right here is cheaper stuff, but it's new with tags. So it's all going to be sold a lot. And under it, some nice Kenneth Cole purse bags. Both of these are kind of cool reaction purse bags. If you look at these shoes right here. They paid 140 bucks for these shoes. It just it just keeps going on. There's just so much nice clothes. And to be honest, if I had to put a number on how much I think I'm going to make off the clothes alone, I think we're going to be looking at a thousand bucks on the clothes, which is crazy from a storage unit. So let's jump on to the collectibles and see how much more we can pull. And then we are back with the second round of profits and starting off we have these two nail or hand dryers that should bring me about 50 bucks a piece. Nice. Coming over we have some Versace Crystal Candy Bowl which should bring about 150 to $200. That's a great find. About a $30 art glass pig, a $40 to $50 vase, a $30 to $40 vase. And then we come down here and we have a chain which is marked 18 karat gold. Now it weighs about 3 grams. So if this is real gold, it should bring me maybe even $200. We're going to have that checked. I believe it's real gold, but just to be safe, we're going to have it checked. Then we have about 50 bucks in sterling crosses. Come over here. We have the sterling silver rosary cross. Nice. That's about an $80 to $100 piece right there. We have a $20 to $30 fossil watch, new with tags. And then we got a $20 to $30 art glass chicken. And then a $40 Kenneth Cole watch with the box. So that wraps up part one of this storage unit. So far we found some really nice stuff and we've got some really good profits. If you like what you're seeing make sure you hit that like button and subscribe because next week will be part two. Hope you enjoyed the video.